Hell is a freely chosen identity built on something else besides going on forever. It's these people that reject God. They rather reign in hell than serve in heaven. And they go away in what destroys them. It's their pride. It's their self-worth. As I talked about earlier, when you admit you're wrong on something, it is very liberating, but it's also suffering. You go through pain and suffering. That's sanctification. Now, what happens if you know you're wrong about something subconsciously and you hold on to that for a thousand years, 10,000 years? You're not going to become a better version of yourself. You're going to become the worst version of yourself. Uh, you're going to slowly, that, that agony, that rage, that hatred of yourself is going to keep building up and building up until you become hell itself. You become the demon that you were trying to avoid. And so this is very much what the idea of hell is in the Bible. For Second Thessalonians 1, nine says, they will suffer the punishment of eternal destruction away from the presence of the Lord and from the glory of his might. They're suffering punishment from their own sin away from God. God is just exile. 